So Dr. Wu will now show us how to use the articulator function. Okay, I will activate the articulator module. Start articulator. This articulator use a campus plane. The low jaw and upper jaw, anatomy crown and face scan data, and CBCT data. I'm already adjust the occlusal plan. But you can also use different planes with this, right? Yeah, right. We can confirm the position of the condyle here. That's why and, Dr. Wu said it was yeah. a very important point before. Yeah, that is a hinge axis of articulator. The other side, the condyle head is located. Here is a hinge axis here. The occlusion plan contact inside the second molar distal buccal cause contact here. This articulator already guide anterior part. Here. Hinge axis and allowed node is connected. It's a campus plane and it's a parallel with the occlusal plane here. And um, okay, this patient is uh, arbitrarily mounting the without the jaw motion data. So we usually set up the Bennett angle 15 degree. The light side also same degree, and then um, immediate side shift one millimeter, and then horizontal condyla. Angle is uh, 30, and then start simulated. Okay, so we'll begin the simulation. Yeah, right. File size is big again, so it takes a little bit of time to load. Yeah. When you use the jaw motion module, we need every system. We measure the movement of the low jaw. That data we can get the every system. We set up the that data is a very exact data and Bennett angle, immediate side shift, and condyla angle. But now we mount the arbitrary mounting. We designed the crown with the face scan data, and we import the CBCT data, and we arbitrary mounting with the CBCT data. I will introduce another part. OK, what part is it? What function is it? Dental chair web view link. So what does the link do? Only face scan data and design data here. Mm -hmm. So only the face scan and yeah, design data are left here? Yeah, without the CBCT data, because the CBCT data is too heavy, so we can apply the dental shear view. Okay, Dr. Wu will now use the dental shear function. Yeah, sometimes uh, I'd like to communicate my dentist. I need more information. That time I used the, my design file to send it to the, the dentist. So this is accessible by patients and anyone that the patient wants, whether it's your dentist, dental technician. It saves a lot of time and also it's great because the patients can just look at it on their own phones. So let's go take a look at how it works. If mm -hmm. part mode, I select tool menu. Okay. Uh, we can see share dental share web view. Yeah. I make a password. So Dr. Wu is encrypting the file right now using a password, and you make your own password, yeah, we right? We can select two types, without password or with password. I always use the with password because of individual information protection. So, so Dr. Wu is encrypting his file. Yeah, continue. Yeah, this data is only a design file and opposite and rojo with the paste scan data. Uh, without CBCT data. CBCT data is a very big file that is uh, not allowed dental shear system. Mm -hmm. so already made a link, the copy clipboard. So it's a messenger, messenger app. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Dr. Wu copied his personal link from dental share, and then now he is on his messenger program and he is sending it to himself, which yeah. he can view on his phone, on his computer. He can also send it to his dentist as well as his dental technicians. Let's go take a look at Dr. Wu accessing it on his phone. Yeah, I received the link. Mm -hmm. My mobile phone already installed ExoCAD web view. So it's so, already connected to ExoCAD yeah. right away. Uh, that is a free application. We very easy to download from App Store or the Google Play Store. I make uh, the password. It's a one, two, three, four. Loading. Wow. Here. 
So patients can easily access it on their phones just with the link yeah. and, of course, a password. Yeah, right. Here. And then same picture. Very easy. Not difficult. Yeah. It's very useful to communicate with the dentist or patient. Yeah. That's dentist or mm -hmm. the, the data with the patient, uh, we can get more detailed patient requirement and then we can apply that requirement in my uh, prosthesis. Exactly. Yeah, so very important. I'm very excited for DOF last session, new product launching. I will finish my lecture for this point. Thank you for watching everyone and thank you, Crystal. Thank you very much, Dr. Wu. I personally really enjoyed and learned a lot from your lectures. Now, after a very short break, I will come back with DOF's new product launch, so stay tuned.